So the next thing I'm going to do is have a little look at your neck. I need to support your head for this part of the exam. So if you could lie your head back down there. Okay, and now look over your left shoulder. Fully relax your neck. Next, the jugular venous pulse is assessed. It is important to ensure that the sternocleidomastoid muscle is fully relaxed as the internal jugular vein lies beneath this and will not be visible otherwise. The internal jugular vein runs behind sternocleidomastoid, which itself runs between the mastoid process and the sternoclavicular joint. The external jugular is often visible more lateral to sternocleidomastoid. You can ignore this. It is usually possible to see the jugular venous pulsation just above the medial head of the clavicle. Note the complex waveform. When a pulsation is seen, palpate it. A JVP is impalpable unless grossly elevated. If you feel a pulse, you are actually seeing the carotid pulsation. Know the features of a JVP, summarized by the mnemonic voice. Visible, obliterable, impalpable, complex waveform, empties from below and fills from above. Next, check the hepatojugular reflex by pressing into the right upper quadrant while watching for a rise in JVP. It is normal for there to be a transient rise, Persistent elevation indicates right ventricular failure or fluid overload. It is also a good test to confirm the venous nature of a neck pulsation.